who am I? And uh, although we've had speakers from different areas of the world before, Shirley uh, Roberts, who is our president of Probus Global, had a few words for us. And uh, other folks uh, we've had uh, during our meetings. Uh, but Stan is the first, who am I? I've asked him for a bio and he sent me a book. <laughs> and uh, he asked me to be kind also, so I will try my best, although it's difficult. Uh, Stan has been a member for many, many years. Uh, originally uh, was born near the English border and he claims that did not really have any influence on him whatsoever because he's Scottish through and through. Uh, after school, uh, he uh, became a banker, and Warren and uh, Stan should uh, talk about banking at some point, but uh, Stan only survived four years in the bank industry, and then he joined the Army, where he uh, served for nine years. He, he liked that type of style of living, so he joined the police force afterwards and uh, served for 25 years in the uh, Glasgow area. Uh, and be very careful on things you say to him because he was a detective for 22 years. So he reads into everything you say. Uh, and he's probably got me in his targets right now. After uh, his police, he, he did not want to retire and he went on to um, working uh, his uh, later life in health and safety, uh, where he worked for 11 years in um, building management company. Uh, then he went on to his next life. He uh, moved to, to the other part of Scotland where he lives today, and he's going to talk about that, so I want to give that secret away, uh, with his daughter and his uh, three grandchildren, and, uh, and his wife, uh, Kay. And for many years, he's been extremely well installed in that area and really enjoying life in that area. And to keep his uh, finger in the uh, police, his, uh, his son, Ian, is a police chief in the Glasgow area. So Stan, you're on. Take it over and thank you very much for joining us. Uh, before you start, Stan, uh, Steve, can you turn the recording on, please? Can I go now? Okay, I'll, need, I'll try and share this screen. I've got a PowerPoint presentation, so let me see if it works. I hope it works. Right, somebody got their mic open and tell me if they can see this or not. Yeah, we can see it, Stan. Right, okay, then. That's me, by the way. I thought I'd just put some pleasant. That's me in the banks of the River Dee, where um, it flows past Bankery. So I'm in the Bank Return and Men's Probus Club in Bankery in Aberdeenshire in Scotland. Um, I'll just go to the next slide. I was going to tell you something about my, my background. Can you see the next slide? Just, Steve, just give me a thumbs up if you see it. Well, that's fine. So um, you've already covered this. Dick, born in 1943, left school, 15 years old, banker, soldier, detective, property management. So I'll go on to the next one now. <laughs> Where are we? Right. A lot of people are saying, where's Bankery? And others are saying, where's Aberdeen? Because we're near Aberdeen. And others are saying, where's Scotland? So that's, I don't know if this cursor works, but that's the British Isles there, United Kingdom. And then I'll zoom in. That's the UK. And this is Scotland at the top. You can always read that. I'll zoom in again. That's Scotland itself. And down to the Northeast here is Aberdeen. Most of you will know where we are anyway. And I'll zoom in again. And there we are. Bankery is 17 miles east, no, west, southwest of Aberdeen, the city of Aberdeen. And I'll do it again. And that's us there looking from a hill, which I'll talk about uh, shortly, uh, which overlooks the, the, the area. That's the River Dee, a great fishing river. Goes all the way down to the sea. And this is Bankery here. So, okay, so let's see now. I've lost myself already. How about that? Yeah. 
OK, we were founded in uh, 1989 and the initial membership was 26 members. I'm afraid that all, all the initial members, all the founder members are all gone and uh, we're not with us anymore. But uh, let's see now. We're not as big a club as you are, um, but we have got 47 members at the moment. We had 60, that's a maximum normal 60 members. Um, but we're down to 47. Um, we haven't lost any to the coronavirus, but we have lost a few in recent years um, as they go old. So we're on a recruiting drive. Maybe not the best time to actually go recruiting people. But I've been fortunate. I got two new ones just about a couple of weeks ago. So we're very fortunate that people, older people, are actually um, using the internet. I mean, it's it's really good so much. I mean, it's you can see that by the number of people are are here today listening to me. So that's our membership, 47. We've got seven of a committee, president, vice president, treasurer, past president, secretary, and two committee members. Now, three of them were supposed to be here today, Dick Jennings, Ron Bird, and Bill Coots. Now, I know Bill Coots couldn't make it because I helped try to help him join the link, and he can't. So I don't know if um, Dick and uh, Ron are here or not. Uh, we've got three walking groups, um, an A team, a B team, and a C team. Now, the A team, they walk about 10 miles uh, every second Tuesday. The B team walk about five miles every every Tuesday. And the C team, which I'm a member of, we don't walk at all. We just walk from the car park into the hotel for coffee every Tuesday. But it's very nice meeting up with that. This is where we hold our meetings in Bankery, the Burnley Arms Hotel, where we're round behind the, the hotel in the big lounge area. Um, very good hotel, they look after as well. And that is um, some of our members. I'm forgetting that you're playing catch up here, so I'll, I'll slow down a bit to let you catch up with this, this screen. So that's us in the lounge area. That was taken a few years ago. Um, and that's me there. And I was a bit fatter looking then because I was on steroids for my health. So, next slide. The Burnet is long. That's the West Church, the Burnett's just next door to that. And that that's the main street of Bankery. That is um, more or less um, the shopping area of Bankery. Um, they've got shops on the left-hand side as well as the right-hand side, and there's some shops and different things down here. There's a lot of um, uh, restaurants and uh, hairdressers and all sorts of things. So Bankery's not very big. We, we have a population of uh, 7,500. Now, compared to Aberdeen, which is 200,000, that's not very big. And Aberdeen compared to Glasgow, which is 600,000 in the town area, and the metro area is 1 and 1.7 million. And Edinburgh is 400,000 with 1.4 million in the metro area. Uh, although Glasgow is bigger than Edinburgh, Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland. And that's because it's a centre of power and administration. It's a regional administrative base for Scotland and is home to the Scottish Parliament as well. So that's why Edinburgh is the capital, not Glasgow, which is a lot bigger. Moving on, we have some great walks, some fabulous walks in Bankery. Everywhere you go, because the town's so small, everywhere around the town is, is countryside more or less, and walks down by the river. And there's another one, a two, there's two or three. That's, that's the River Dee up the top left hand corner. That's somewhere in some wood, somewhere in Bankery, as is the, that term. This one at the bottom right hand corner, that's called Scalty Hill. Now, Scalty Hill is the, one of the most um, fabulous and uh, popular walks in, in Bankery. It's just on the outskirts of Bankery and it overlooks Cat Bankery, and that's where the photograph of Bankery came from. Uh, there's a monument up at the top there. I'll try the next one. Right, there's a monument at the top of Scalty Hill, and that's one of the paths up it. It's quite steep, although it's only 495 feet high, tall, but it is one of the most popular walks in, in, in the area. And it's best known for the, the feature, which is a 70 foot um, monument, tower monument at the top. Um, it was built in 1840, 1840 by um, it was a local 
a memorial to a local landover called General William Burnett. He, the Burnett still owned a lot of land in the Bankery area. And one of the Burnets is a member of Parliament, a member of the British Parliament, and they're well-to-do people. Um, General um, Burnett, he fought alongside the Duke of Wellington. The Duke of Wellington um, was famous for the Battle of Waterloo. You must have heard about the Battle of Waterloo when he defeated Napoleon Bonaparte. Um, the tower was restored in 1992 by um, the Rotary and they've added a viewing platform at the top of the tower. Now, for the life of me, I can't think what the tower was used for before it had a viewing part platform at the top, because once you go into it, you can't get up to a viewing platform until they built the stairs and the viewing platform. Anyway, it's a, it's a very um, popular um, walk in, in the area. Let's see what's next. Right, that's the River Dee again, um, and this bit here is, uh, oh no, that's wrong. That's the River Dee again, and that's one of its inhabitants, one of the, the salmon that come up river. This is probably taken some years ago because I don't think we've seen a salmon for um, many, a, many a moon. Um, I think all the bigger fish in, in the sea are catching them and eating them before they come into the Dee at the seaside in Aberdeen. So there's uh, not very many salmon about, but that, that, that was one that was obviously caught in the Dee. And that was, that, that chap there, he's uh, one of my friends, is um, called Carl Revel. It's a bad photograph, but uh, Carl is the bailey, or the gilly, I should say, um, of the river, that part of the river. The different gillies for different areas, they look after the part of the river that's owned by their boss. So Carl, he's ready for shooting and fishing and walking there, and he doesn't realise there's a stag hiding behind that tree watching him. He's looking for stags, obviously, and he can't find them. But that's Carl. That's the River Dee again. It's a lovely river. Um, I don't know how far it stretches, but it's way up from the mountains right down to the sea at Aberdeen. Now, that's the River Dee again. Four years ago, we had a storm, Storm Frank, and uh, it was a nasty storm. And that's the main road from Aberdeen down through Bankery down to further south. And uh, that's, um, that's, that's what happened, uh, that, that storm took the road away. It's built again, it's way back here now. Um, now that castle, that's a castle that's occupied and it's on the banks of the River Dee. At the same time, you probably see that the banking of the River Dee is right beside the castle. Um, it, it, the banking was, well, the banking was way miles away from there. And they woke up that morning and the whole banking of tape went away. You can see it better on this show picture. So, I mean, I don't know, I can't remember how far the bank and stretch before he got into the river, but it was a lot, a lot longer than that. So, and there's another shot that shows it even better. That's the castle right on the edge of the River Tee. Um, I think they've showed it all up now. They've done quite a lot of work to it and uh, it's still there and there's people living in it, but um, it wouldn't be me. Um, it's, uh, it was quite uh, hard going before. We got, they got it shored up, but it looked as if it might fall into the into the River Dee, but it didn't. It's still there. That is some of the carnage caused by the, the Storm Frank, um, just up, up river a bit. Um, um, not all the caravans were treated like that. Some of them managed to escape, and here's one coming down the Dee. It uprooted it from its um, chains, and, and there was about eight, a dozen caravans actually escaped from that caravan site and went down the Dee. Um, to be smashed to smithereens and different bridges and whatnot. So um, it was a bad time. We, we live on the, the side of the D. I, I stay in a kind of retired housing place and it's um, yards from the D. Um, but the, we are, we're about 30 feet above the D when the D is at normal level. That night, or that the two days, the D came up to within eight foot of the path that was beside our thing. So it went up 20 odd feet up. It was horrendous. And I worry every time I see the rain in case it's going to come back again. Right, that, that, that's a painting of a slate. Um, the uh, rock painting, that's a slate, but the rock painting is a trend which has picked up uh, popularity in recent times. Now, I don't know if it's all over the world, but I, I know it's in, in our area, quite a few different places in Scotland, and it's particularly during the pandemic it's picked up, pandemic picked up. Now, the stones that they're painting, 
an enterprising business lady um, photographed them all. All these stones are painted and they were left lying along the paths and on beside trees and throughout Bankery um, for people to see them. And uh, it, it was a great thing. And they have been put onto a, a one big uh, photograph and made into a photograph and also made into a, a, a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle. Um, but it was, it was so popular that another lady decided to sort of um, build a big garden and uh, that's it there. They built this, the local, one of the local businessmen um, contributed a lot, of, a lot of machinery and the cement and all that. So there's a bit, it stretches way past here as well. So that's um, stones painted by mainly children in the area and they're going to be there forever. There's, all, there's over three and a half thousand stones there to the end there and that, that's uh, They've painted this wall here, and that's Scalty, that tower in Scalty. So that lady here, she's in charge of um, the, the job. Um, so it, it's something that will be there for forever and ever. They did it in Stonehaven, 15 mile west of, east of here. Um, but they, do, they put the stones on the ground um, where everybody walked, and uh, now they're all disfigured and moving, and there's no use to so the, the, the idea of mount them up on, on, on a big uh, plinth of uh, cement, cement. So that, that's, uh, that's the stones, it's very good. I don't know if they're throughout the world or not, you may have some here, please. Now this is a castle, it's just on the outskirts of the village, Crathy's Castle, it's um, very popular. It's open most of the year round uh, for sightseers and it's got lovely gardens, it's fabulous. Um, there's another castle coming up. Now this is um, Balmoral Castle, you probably heard about Balmoral Castle. This is um, the Queen's holiday home. The Queen and the family come up from London and spend the summer up here. They love it here. Queen Victoria bought it in the late uh, 19th century um, and uh, they all come up here for their holidays and they love it. The Queen doesn't actually stay in it. She's, there's a house about half a mile away that um, she stays. It's a big house, obviously you would expect the Queen to stay in a big house and it is but not as big as this holiday home she's got. But, and it's open to the public in the summer, but you can only see the ballroom. That's the only part of the hotel, the, 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 castle, hotel. the castle you can see is the ballroom, which is way there in the back there, but it's a fabulous building. Now I, I put this slide in because in 1890, I think it was, you know, 1866, 1866 um, they were building a railway line between um, Aberdeen and the town Ballater near where the Queen stays when she comes up on holiday at the, at the um, Balmoral Castle and this cottage was in the way so they decided rather than reroute the railway line they just took part of the cottage off so they've just cut cut the gable end there the right hand side they've just cut it away so that the railway line could go past and supply the Queen with uh, everything she needs you know and it, it's still there, that, that, cot that was taken a long time ago in the black and white days, but that uh, cottage is still there looking like that. It's built up a lot of vegetation now and trees all around it, but um, that's the lengths they go to, to serve the Queen. Chop part of your cottage away, you know. Right, where am I? Right, next slide is who we're talking about, our Queen. There she is in all her regalia. Now I think that's taken a few years ago because I believe she's a lot older now. She's in her 90s now, so she's and she's still the queen and she's still doing her job. You know, she's, she's a great old lady. Now she dresses different every time you go, she goes out. And these are some of her dresses. Now the photographer who took these photographs is telling me that it was demented because she was so slow in her changes, you know, and he had to be somewhere else and he had to wait for her to change into that gear and that gear. So, no, it, was, it wasn't a very nice um, thing to do to have to wait for her, but uh, he finally got all the photographs anyway. Right, next photograph, that's Prince William. He is the Queen's grandson or one of the grandsons of the Queen. And that's his uh, good wife. Um, I've lost her name. Kate, her name's Kate, yes, that's right, Kate. Now the reason I put, well, William comes up to um, to the castle as well, to Balmoral, with Kate, as does all their old family, but the reason I put him in there is because, I'll, I'll go to the next slide. Now, 
that's William on the left hand side. Um, and on the right hand side is my son. Now my son is in the police as a superintendent, as Dick told you, but a few months ago, Dick, no Dick, my son Ian and William had a, a Zoom meeting. William is into um, mental health and uh, my son is, an, uh, you know, he is into it as well. He is quite knowledgeable in his skill and experience through his life has made him kind of the mouthpiece for the, the Scottish police. So William and him got together. Um, so now my son is to chair a working group, a United Kingdom working group on behalf of the Royal Foundation set up by Prince William to look at how to improve support in relation to mental health and well-being on emergency services personnel and volunteer responders and their families throughout the, the United Kingdom. Now I put that up because I'm selfish. I mean, I, I just I think I'm so proud of him, you know. Um, I like him as well. I like well, William's nice as well. My son is fantastic, as, as all our sons are. So anyway, that, that's a story there. I just thought, I mean, they don't say in Bankery, but he comes to near Bankery and so does my son come up and live with us sometimes. So um, he's in near Glasgow. But that's what he's doing now, working for Prince William. So I'm getting near the end of my time, I think, or maybe over it, but so I, I put that one up, that's Cody, that's my daughter's dog, because I put him up because he stays in Bankery, and I walk him every, twice a day for three days when my daughter's at work. That's, it's, it's very photogenic. That's him two years ago when he was just not, not alive, not born. <laughs> Lovely dog, and that's him a couple of weeks ago, sitting beside me as if uh, he loves me, but he really loves the, the treats that are in my pocket. He's waiting for me to get them out. So that's about me finished, but I thought I would, that's a fourth rail bridge. Now that's not here. It's um, near Edinburgh, seven miles outside Edinburgh, but it's not that far from here. It's um, on the east coast, uh, about 100 miles from here. And now that used to be classed as the eighth wonder of the world. That's a fourth rail bridge, joins the mainland with Fife, the kingdom of Fife. Um, after that, that was um, built in 1890. And it's still going strong yet. They used to paint it every so many, oh, many years. And once they finish with one end, they start again. But they've done something to it. They've cladded, cladded around it so they don't paint it anymore. They then built in 1964 a road bridge over. The, it's the, the, the River Forth, the Firth of Forth. That's the Forth leads out to the North Sea. Um, so they built a road bridge um, in 1964. But unfortunately, it started to go wrong. Um, what's that, 64, it was 60 years old, so it's starting to wear and tear. So they built another road bridge, and that's it up the top there. So that's the the Queensferry Bridge, I think it's called, because that town is our village is South Queensferry, and it's North Queensferry it goes to. So that's the old road bridge, and that's the new road bridge, and that's the three of them together. That's the rail bridge up there. The old road bridge and the new rail road bridge and I think I've gone beyond my time so I'll just close by saying goodbye from Bankry Men's Provost Club. Thank you. <laughs>